So this is my room. Welcome to my humble abode. It is not that exciting, but I didn't decorate it as much as I should have because I'm not sure how long I was going to stay here. But I love my view, so I moved this bed, which used to be facing um, against the window, so I moved it this way so that when I wake up, I can just pull open my blinds and look at the view. I have these little sticky notes um, that kind of inspire me to do better. Um, I think my favorite one was this one, which is my sister, when I had a call with her, she was telling me how um, I should be that skiing person, right? She was like, oh, what do people, you know, what do skiers do when they ski? And I'm like, um, they look straight ahead or, you know, they're focusing on what's in front of them. And then I was like, oh, that makes sense. And she was like, yeah, so don't pay attention to the trees. Um, just keep skiing forward. And that was kind of something that stuck with me. So I drew a photo of it and put it there. Um, but I guess the intention is just like, you know, don't listen to the naysayers and um, focus on, you know, just speeding ahead. Um, and then I'm creating right now a website, thefangirl.com, TBA. I use Fiverr for that. And um, the designer is really great because he has so much patience with me and he's doing everything online. So. This is my desk and my chair, um, all of this, oh my god, it's so messy. <laughs> um, all of this was furnished before I moved in, thank goodness. Um, all I did was buy a pillow, um, so this was also here. Um, the bed, everything was here, um, so it was really convenient and um, uh, yeah, everyone's gonna think I'm a slob, but I'm probably gonna cut this out, so basically this is my closet. The only issue is that um, I can't really get in here, which is fine, but all my stuff is there, so I don't completely mind it. I just want to show you something really quick, too. Ooh. These are the plants that I'm currently propagating at this moment. Um, if you don't know what propagation is, if you can find any sort of like vine, um, vine plant or a pothos, you can easily just like, you know, cut off a piece the um by where you see like little sprouts or little roots growing out and then you can put them in water and they should be able to grow so that's what i've been doing with this plant because i'm too cheap to buy any plants at the moment so it's great i just used you know a recyclable nescafe gold glass right here and it helps circulate and clean our air So this is our bathroom, it's quite, you know, easy, simple going. I share it with one other person at the moment. This is our kitchen. Starting to tend, you know, to notice there's a lot of, well, okay, a lot of snacks, but this is our kitchen. It's really messy right now, so sorry that you're viewing this. Um, but we also have this outdoor area, right? So this is where we wash our clothes and hang them, hang dry them. Uh, we only have a washer, we don't have a dryer at all. If I'm doing a house tour, I might as well give you a fridge tour as well. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. I do like red wine and I do like putting it in the fridge. Because <laughs> I like drinks that are cold. These are actually my favorite. It is green tea without any sugar because I'm getting old and sugar isn't good for you. This is my section, as you can see, because there is Sapporo and, oh, actually I haven't finished this. So I'm gonna finish that and put this one here. Um, but yes, I try to live a healthy lifestyle. So, you know, <laughs> my tomatoes, my apples, my grapes, my oranges, peanut butter, things like that. Um, I had a steak yesterday and it was amazing. That's why you see this butter over here. Okay, I'm closing the door, calm down. Mm -mm. Last peek. All right. Yeah. Ah, I like the view, <laughs> if you get the reference. I like the view. Oh, oh, 
it is nice today. It rained just an hour ago, so it's feeling quite nice and not as humid today. And my roommate has been smoking a lot. I think he's stressed out, but uh, smoking is bad for you kids. You shouldn't smoke. So you have a lot of rules. <laughs> Obviously, don't squish two people in one, no drones, and no food or drinks, pets, smoking, etc. Ah, yes. So basically, the 26th floor is a running track where, you know, people can come and just work out, do some cardio exercises. I feel like I don't really come here that often. I'm normally up on um, the 50th floor which is the main sky deck view. But this would be good if you, you know, you wanna run around and there's like good rubber track for you. If you're like me and you have bad knees, <laughs> it's a good place to go. And then I guess you can kind of see closer the buildings that are here. I don't think they allow uh, visitors to come to the 26th floor. They are only able to go to uh, the 50th because this is more for uh, people who live here who want to exercise and um, just do more like cardio exercise so I don't really think that you can go here unless you live here. One of them has this thing, he's like, yeah, we have a pool at the Pinnacles. And then he'll bring his Tinder dates up here and he'll make a joke that this is the pool. <laughs> so cute, I call these the mushroom chairs because you can definitely come up here and just kind of sit on it. <laughs> um, but I think my most favorite part is coming here around 6.30 to 7, watching the sunset. And you can kind of just like, you know, wait, hop up on here. This is where I would sit if it wasn't raining. And I would kind of, you know, just sit here and enjoy the view for a good hour or so by myself. Super relaxing and I'm really grateful to be able to live here. Call me nostalgic or whatever, but whenever I come here, I always see the shipping cranes. And they remind me of the ones that, you know, you see when you're taking BART from San Francisco to Oakland. There's like another area that you can walk through here. Ah, oh, the, the weather is amazing. It just, it just feels cool. <laughs> I like it. Oh, and supposedly the CEO of Dyson, it lives in that building right here. Yes. One of the most expensive penthouses or something in Singapore and the Dyson CEO lives there. You know why? It's because a lot of 
you know, people started to buy those Dyson vacuum cleaners and also those hair dryers. He's a genius. He's a marketing genius. Have a candle going. So it reminds me of San Francisco. One of my best friends, Anna, she bought this for me. It's called Homesick. It's so sweet. Um, and it reminds me of San Francisco. <laughs> so, um, let's see. A walk along the shoreline, small batch of coffee, ocean waves rolling up against the wharf, and a delicious note of iris. Yeah, so for some reason, I mean, they just do a good job, like, with the scent. So when I smell it, I'm like, wow, it does remind me of San Francisco. Yeah. So this is a view at nighttime, which is, you know, honestly, one of the best views I've been able to have while living at an apartment. So you get a great view of, you know, peeking through your neighbor's windows, but also a great view of the city and the life happening. It just makes me feel really great and content with life. So I like to have a cup of coffee or uh, tea or a glass of wine and just kind of, you know, stand by the balcony and enjoy my night. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. See you soon.